In part two of our lab series, we're going to install Kali Linux in our lab environment. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Kali Linux folder that we created earlier, and we should have already copied in the, the uh, 7-zip file with the VMDKs. So go ahead and install 7-zip if you haven't and extract the files. We're going to put them into that Kali folder and it'll take it a second here to, to extract. This one is a little bit quicker than the SIFT install because it was an OVA. So there's a couple more steps we had to do. This one, this one is literally a VMDK. It's a virtual machine. It's already been up and running. You just have to extract it and then start it. So this one is much faster. <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and drill down into it and you'll see that we have all the VMDK files and, and everything. So now let's go into VMware Player and let's go ahead and open the virtual machine and we'll drill down to that VMX file. Remember, it's a couple of folders deep there. Now then, what we're going to want to do is edit the virtual machine settings. So here you can see it has 2 gig of RAM, it's got 4 processors, 80 gig of hard drive space, and the network is set to NAT. If you have the available RAM, go ahead and bump that up to 4 gig. That'll just, uh, you know, help you a little bit when you're when you're trying to run multiple processes on it. It's not really necessary if you don't have it. So go ahead and start it and um, here you want to click I copied it. That just tells VMware that this was a running machine that you're moving to somewhere else or, or copying to somewhere else. <clears throat> right, and once this thing boots up um, it just it's pretty quick. It only takes it a minute here. Um, you'll have a working, you know, Linux machine. The username is root, and the password is root backwards t o o r. So the desktop should look pretty familiar here once you once it comes up. So you can go ahead and expand the desktop, make it full screen, and it's just like any other uh, Linux distro. You've you've got your your access to uh, all your programs and stuff on its left side. You can scroll down and hit the uh, show applications button and it's going to bring up you know everything that you have, you have in there and some of those are grouped into nice convenient groups for Kali so if you want to do a reconnaissance or crack passwords or sniff the network or do exploits it's all there. So if you like this go ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it and if you uh, don't mind, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be uh, alerted whenever we post new videos. The next one coming up will be the Security Onion, and that uh, goes into getting all three of these working together. Thanks.